This video outlines the steps for doffing personal protective equipment for high consequence infectious diseases or HCIDs. For donning, refer to part one of this two-part video series. The PPE should be removed outside of the patient zone in a designated doffing area. All health workers required to wear HCID PPE must undergo training in donning and doffing and be deemed competent by a recognised trainer. Use of a buddy system is preferred and recommended. The buddy's role is to read out the steps, observe and assist if required. Depending on the location of the buddy and interaction, the buddy should also be equally protected wearing appropriate PPE based on a risk assessment. The buddy will use a checklist to guide the health worker through the doffing steps. If a buddy is not available, a laminated hard copy checklist should be used to guide the doffing. Where possible, allocate a designated zone for doffing PPE. Ensure all the following equipment is available. A rigid plastic stool or chair without arms that can be cleaned and disinfected. A clinical waste bin. Alcohol-based hand rub. Hospital grade dual purpose disinfectant wipes. Additional gloves in the correct size. Ensure that these items are within one step of the health worker. This ensures that there is no unnecessary movement. The correct doffing and disposal of PPE is the most important step in preventing contamination. This video will demonstrate how to safely doff your PPE without contaminating your clothing, skin or mucous membranes. Before the health worker leaves the patient's room, they should inspect the PPE for visible contamination. If present, they should remove it with a hospital-grade dual-purpose wipe and discard it into the clinical waste bin before leaving the room. Now leave the patient zone to the doffing area. First, doff the outer gloves. Take care to pull off gloves without touching the outside to minimise risk of contamination. Once removed, discard into the clinical waste bin. Inspect the inner gloves for any contamination. Remove any visible contamination with disinfectant wipes. Now doff the gown. First, untie the straps of the gown. Pull the gown away from you. Roll it inwards and downwards. Make sure you bend forward slightly to reduce self-contamination. Discard the gown into the clinical waste bin. Inspect the inner gloves. Remove any visible contamination with disinfectant wipes. Sit on a clean or covered stool or chair to begin removal of the booties. Carefully loosen the straps. Ensure the forearms do not touch the outside of the booty as this poses a self-contamination risk. decontaminate the gloves with wipes.
If the health worker at any stage thinks they may have contaminated their gloves, remove the gloves and perform hand hygiene. Don a clean pair of gloves prior to continuing the booty removal process. Place hands inside the booty and turn the top down to form a clean cuff. Repeat on the other booty. Before removing the booty, check for glove contamination. Push the booty down to your heel. Remove the booty by grasping the calf at the heel area and pulling away from the body. Discard the booty into the clinical waste bin. Repeat on the other side. Inspect and doff the inner gloves. Perform hand hygiene and don another pair of gloves. This video will provide two examples of safely doffing the surgical hood and face shield. Option 1. Doff the hood and face shield in one motion. Grasp the back of the hood and elastic straps of the face shield, bend at the waist, tilt head downwards, and pull forward in a downward motion removing hood and face shield together. Place in clinical waste bin. Check gloves for contamination and remove gloves. Now perform hand hygiene. Option 2. Doff the hood and face shield separately. Doff the face shield by grasping the elastic strap of the face shield. Bend at the waist, tilt head downwards and pull forward in a downward motion. Discard items into the clinical waste bin. Now loosen tape if applied. Grasp back of the hood. Bend at the waist, tilt head downwards and pull forward in a downward motion removing the hood. Doff gloves and perform hand hygiene. Remove glasses if worn. Doff the respirator by locating the straps of the respirator. Now bend at the waist, chin out and pull forward in a downward motion, removing the respirator. Now perform hand hygiene with soap and water, including forearms up to the elbows. Alcohol-based hand rub can be used if automatic dispensers are available. For donning, refer to part one of this two-part video series.